micro. So this is the uh, micro that phagocytes by the phagocyte system. And, and this is the infected cell. So this is the insula and this is insula cytolytic. So uh, each response to extracellular and intracellular could be divided as two. One is uh, insula vesicula and the second one is insula cytosolid. Okay? So when I mention IV, it means insula vesicula and when I mention IC, it means insula cytosolid response. Okay? So if I divide the intracellular as intravesicular and intracytosodic, you can see that we have two categories in each part and in extracellular, again, we have epithelial and interstitial blood and lymph. So this is the main type of our response to pathogen. So, uh, in bacteria and intracellular, intravesicular, I can mention Any, any bacteria here that we have intravesicular, intracellular response? Mycobacteria. 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 Okay. And for intracytosoli, rickettsia, chlamydia could be. And in viruses, I mentioned that we do not have any extracellular, so yeah. all are intracellular. And is it intravesicular or intracytosoli? Intracytosolic. exactly. Mm -hmm. What about the fungi? The example for intravesicular is nomocystis, histoplasma, and for parasites, leishmania, and here, plasmodium. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, what about extracellular response in epithelium? E. coli, acetophobe, Neisseria, all could be epithelial. And again, E. coli, acetophobe, and Neisseria could be interstitial, blood, and leaf. So there are, I mean, some responses in both sides. So we do not have here in virus because I mentioned that they are yes, only yes. here. And for fungi, extracellular, as candida, dermatophytes, and for parasites, Helminx is here, and filaria is here. So this is the main response of the immune system against different, uh, I mean, pathogens in different categories of bacteria, viruses, fungi. Okay, let's get back here. Okay, so here we, we will have immune defense against intracellular microbe and that one is extracellular. So again, get back to intravesicular <coughs> microbes like uh, the phagocyte formation that I showed you earlier. This is the phagocyte microbe, so they can be go to the, uh, the, the phagocytes, get it inside, and we will have complement activation and it means low pH which is the harmful for microbes, the lysosome which is the peptidoglycan hydrolysis, protases for digest microbial protein and uh, lactoferrin which deplays bacterial iron. So these are the conditions that we have in the phagocytes microbe to, to fight against the different part of uh, Micro and they usually oxygen independent team. So the, the second one is insta vesicular microbes antigen. Again, this is the phagocyte microbe. Again, it goes inside the phagocyte system. Again, the complement help and invade. And we have the MHC, which present uh, at the surface of the phagocyte, 
And do you know which, which kind of MSC? Class 1 or 2? Two. 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 Extra CD4, CD8, CD4, 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 CD4 T cells attached, and CD8 T cells could help you in cytotoxicity. Okay? So CD4 T cells attached to the NSC class 2, and then we have the CD28 and D7, exactly. Interaction. And uh, we have production of interleukin 2, exactly. So it uh, stimulates and proliferate. We have different cells. Then we have uh, production of IL-12 from the phagocytes to the B cells. And then we will have a mature to Th1. And then Th1 produce interferon gamma. Again, we will have two. What is these two molecules? For detachment, CTL and CTL. CD. CT. No, CD3, CD40, and CD40 ligand. CD40 and CD40 ligand. Uh, and if you remember when I mentioned that about the hyper IgM in the last class, this is CD40 ligand deficiency. So this is here. Okay, that's why I mentioned that the quality of the T cell is decreased. It leads to immunoglobulin class switch recombination deficiency. IgM, it helps to, uh, I mean, class switch recombination, this attachment. It's a regulatory? What? It's a regulatory mechanism? Yes. And it leads to enhanced microbial activity. So to have a very effective effect of the, uh, I mean, uh, fighting against the microbe, we need such mechanism, one by one. Those at the end, I mean, CD40 ligand and CD40 attached, leads to uh, CSR maturation. So this is the intraventricular micro. Uh, it is the... Uh, O2 and uh, H2O2 and HCLO and this is the combination we say loss okay, radial oxygen uh, free radial oxygen and we have oxygen dependent healing next, NK cell helps NK cell come and we have a production of uh, I mentioned here that we have I12 Again, we will have IL-12 here and activate the NK cell. Again, NK cell produce okay. like this one, okay. interferon gamma. Again, we have production of interferon gamma. And it depends the, against intravesical micro. So this is the phagodism uh, uh, formation, that part. This is the first part. Then we have NK mediated macrophile activation here, and this is T helper one mediated macrophile activation. Is it clear? So I mean, all of these phases needed to uh, fight as an in intervesicular uh, uh, fighting against the microbes. Okay, so. Uh, what is the role of interferon uh, in general? Yes, I mean, help the macrophage to, to fight against it. It's by either the T helper or NK cell. Sir, it Helps is, the, sir, the, it the is released by uh, T helper cell. What? Sir, it is released by T helper cell. Both T helper and NK cell. Both can produce it. T helper 1. An egg on which cell? An egg on which cell? Act on which cell then? It Sorry. performs its action on which cell? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the defense against uh, intracytosolic uh, microbes, let's have a look here. Again, uh, we will have uh, interferon alpha and beta to, as an antiviral state and uh, uh, 
it continues the interferon alpha and beta and interferon responds against the wires. So uh, in, uh, in response to intracytoro solid microbes, uh, microbe, again we need MHC class 1 here and then which T cell should attach to MHC class 1? CD8 CD8 positive cell should attach to MHC class 1 and again we will have CD4 this time fast and fast lighting. Okay, fast and fast lighting help and make a combination. Uh, one of the mechanisms that some viruses uh, just, uh, uh, I mean, escape from the immune response is. Uh, blocking the MSC expression, and some of them could make uh, blocking the MSC expression here. And, uh, this is the evolutionary arm uh, lace of the microbe. So when we say uh, something about the microbial resistance uh, and uh, some defects in developing the vaccine, it's because of the evolution of the microbes. So some of them can. I mean, escape from the immune system. Again, we have NK cells and NK cell, uh, NK intensity receptors. So, uh, the, I mean, the main, uh, I mean, uh, mechanism of the uh, response against the cytosolic microbes. So, again, you can see that MSC class one is here, and they have NK inhibitor receptor, and uh, it attached to the uh, immune system. So this is SS antigen, NK activation receptor. Again, we have interferon alpha and beta. You can see MS plus one. Again, we have production of interferon gamma by CDA positive T cell. And from NK cell, from both sides. And uh, as I mentioned, interferon alpha and beta may have the role. So in this part, at the main part, we have interferon response. This is CD8 T cell mediated cell lysis, and this is NK mediated cell lysis. Okay, so again, if you get back to that's the slide to remember what so, I mentioned. So, let me. Okay, here mm -hmm. in defense against the insta vesicular. This is intravesicular microbes and in defense against intravesicular microbes we have three phases. First, phagolisome formation, two, NK mediated macrophage activation, and three, TFM mediated macrophage activation. This is the difference against intravesicular microbes. And in intracytosolic microbes, So if I ask some question, you know that which one is intravesicular and which one is intracytosol. When I ask you, select one pathogen and ask you about the forces, you should know that which one is intravesicular and which one is intracytosol and which mechanism. So this is interferon response, CD8 positive T cell mediated cell lysis and NK mediated lysis. Okay? So this is the uh, for uh, intravesicular uh, micro uh, T4, uh, T helper cells are activated. Helper T cells are activated. And for uh, intravesicular. Yes, yes. And for uh, intracytosolid, yes, CD8, CD8, Sir, both are foreign agents. Why different MSC are? Different MSC. Yes, sir. For MSC2 and MSC1. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Why it, it, it happens, sir? 
for uh, intravesicular MSC, MSC2 is activated and for so side it's, a, it's a philosophy for pressure. If you, for example, why the wires go inside the cell, mm -hmm. not outside? No, that for foreign agents, MSC2 is activated. Yes, yes, yes. For our last teacher said that for if a microbe is from outside our body, MSC2 will activate. Mm -hmm. And if it is inside our body antigen, then MSC1 is activated. In this case, both are from uh, foreign antigen. Yes. So MSC2 must be activated there. In vesicular MSC2 is activated, and in cytosolic MSC1 is activated. Okay. Why? So I mentioned that. Yes. No, I got the point. But but you know, we have some. Uh, I mean, some names. It doesn't matter that we say MSC1 or MSC2. So we know that, for example, viruses go to the ins inside the cells, it's a cellular, okay? So, and uh, MSC class 2 is, uh, I mean, MSC class 2 is with CD4 positive cells, okay? Yes. Yes. So this is for intracellular. So we do not know the exact mechanism why, I mean, each type of microbes go to, I mean, inside intracellular or intravesicular. But the immune response can be defined as this regulation. Okay. So let's continue with the uh, intracellular. So I mentioned that intracellular, intravesicular. So we have uh, families of formation. Then what was the second step? NK. NK mediated macrophage activation. And what's the third one? TH1, 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 TH1 mediated macrophage activation. So this is the mechanism. And what about the cytosolic? Interferon response, CD8, CD8 mediated cell rises, and NK, and NK uh, mediated cell rises. Okay, so this is about the intracellular. So what about extracellular? So I mentioned that we have epithelial and just tissue, blood, and lymph. So we usually have some antibodies here for the extracellular response. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are different class of antibodies which have different functions. For example, uh, uh, IgA is responsible for neutralization. IgG have different roles in uh, neutralization, opsonization, and uh, ADCC and complement activation. IgM usually have complement activation and neutralization, and IgE is just for eosinophil massive and degradation. So we have different uh, classes of antibody which have different function, and all of them acts for extracellular. So please imagine that this is the B cell. B cell produce antibodies. Again, we have a macrophage, and macrophage have MHC here. And uh, again, we should have the T cells here, and we should produce IL-12 to stimulate the Th1. Th1 produce interferon gamma to stimulate the B cells. B cells do class switching to IgG1 and IgG3. And then we have uh, Tl 2 here, and it should be MSC plus one, we have IL-4 production, and again we have production of IL-4, it produce what? Ig, IL-4 stimulate B cell to produce Ig. IgE. Ig. Okay, for IgE, again we have T cells, and produce, uh, uh, there is a hypothesis about TFL3 and production of TGF3, TGF beta, and TGF beta is responsible for IgA. IgG1 and IgC are responsible for neutralization, complement activation, and optimization. So this is the mucosal difference by IgA. And regarding IgE, it's responsible for most and supercritical. How it means some part. Yes, exactly. So antibody attach yes, and mast cell and eosinophil help. And you can see that they attach here and TFL2 produce IL5, stimulate the eosinophils. 
and the, uh, we have the granulation here. This means, and the, this is the main difference against the elements. Okay. So again, this is the. Um, by, uh, Presentation of the M MSC production TGF beta and IL6, IL2 and 1, IL2 and 3, and this is TH17. And TH17 produce IL17, and this is the noxophy, and IL22 for antimicrobial peptide and epithelial surface. So get back to this slide. So the interstitial, I just mentioned this one. So we have TH1, interferon gamma, B cell, and IgG. This is a one mechanism. Then TH2, IL4, B cell, and IgE. And for epithelial, it was, for epithelial, mucosal difference. What was the last part? IgA. And what was the stimulate the B cell for, to produce IgA? TGF. TGF beta, exactly. So we have the new TLPS 3 to produce TGF beta, B cell, and IgA. And again, here, for notoxy, we have TH17, IL17, and notoxy, and it works here as well as TH17, IL22, epithelium, and uh, antibacterial. Okay? Was it clear? Yes. Uh, before, before you ask the question, this is the most important slide. Okay? What I need you to know about this class is about the first table that I showed you that which virus, I mean, which bacteria, fungi, parasite, or virus is located here, and this mechanism. So I might ask you about the immune response against helminths. And you should know that against helminths, which part acts? I ask you about the virus. You should know that which mechanism leads to virus. This is the main point that you should get from this slide. The remaining, I mean, was too much. So you should, if you know this mechanism and the, the table of the I mean, category of the bacteria, virus, parasite, well, that's perfect. Okay, so please ask your question. Uh, sir, uh, the protein synthesis in our body, during protein synthesis, during protein synthesis in our body, uh, some protein may be uh, immature. I'm, I'm uh, very sorry, you know, the, the voice is getting echo here, so mm -hmm. I'm sitting here, it's very difficult to understand. Yes, uh, I'm saying that uh, the pro during protein synthesis in our body, uh, there may be a uh, a chance to form an immature protein. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what category it comes? Uh, what do you mean? But protein synthesis by, by the pathogen, by the microbes? Yes. Similar. You mean protein synthesis by, by the microbe? No, all body uh, protein synthesis. Like What? You mean protein synthesis by our body? In case of tumor, yeah. In case, in case of, of tumor. Yes, uh, mutation. Is it, is it the healthy process or pathogenic process? Yeah, yes. Pathogenic. Which one? No. Um, pathogenic. 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 Like cancer. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Either it is vesicular or the cytosol. It is also a cellular antigen, right? Uh, you know, it's it based on the TME, tumor uh, macro environment. So, I mean, both, uh, uh, both mechanisms could be expected. In case of not metastasis, it could be intracytosol. But sometimes we have some metastasis. When it just uh, goes, uh, I mean, across the, 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 the capsule of the cancer, it could be not only intravesicular, but, but also extra cellular reaction can be happening. But what I mentioned here is just for the pathogen, okay. not about the, I mean, the, the protein synthesis in human. What do you exactly mean by vesicular? Yeah. Vesicular uh, uh, antigen. What do I, what? What do you exactly mean by vesicular antigen? How we can differentiate vesicular 
In How trouble is the pillar. You mean the response? Mm. Or the pathogen? <coughs> you know, I just mentioned that. Let's get back. Let's have a look at this table. You know there are some uh, some rules. So we categorize the, uh, the, the pathogens. For example, we have no idea about the Ebola, Estetokok, and Mycelia. But it seems that they, I mean, we have some extracellular uh, response to both epithelial and interstitial and blood and lead. But it's has been mentioned that, for example, mycobacteria, it's usually intravesicular. And uh, Mycetia and Chlamydia are usually intracytosolic response. Okay, so it, it, it has been uh, proved. I mean, so in the, in the, as an evidence of medicine, when they checked, for example, they didn't find any evidence of nomocystis or histoplasma as intracytosolic. Intervesicular, you mean they are creating a vesicle? Something? The vesicle, yeah. Uh, sir, it depends upon size mm -hmm. size of the uh, micro. Uh, it will be uh, vesicular or. Uh, no, it's not, uh, it's not about the size, it's, a, it's about the type of virus. Type of type of pathogen, mm -hmm. not on the size. You could have, I mean, the bigger pathogen but goes to the vesicle or uh, not relevant to the, to the size. The main point of the class, uh, uh, I actually, I mean, uh, edited uh, the Encyclopedia of Infection and Immunity, which was the, uh, the book of year in the United States in 2023, 2022 last year, but it has 5,000 uh, pages, and it's very difficult to I mean, discuss about each pathogen. I mean, each pathogen has uh, 30 pages, each pages. pathogen, and the, the immune mechanism. So that's why, I mean, for those who are interested to know about the details of the immune response to each pathogen, you could read that book, but again, I would like to repeat that. I will never ask any question from my book, uh, from you. And I asked Dr. Uh, Nubash, and uh, Dr. Nubash mentioned that the, uh, there are certain more slides for those who uh, have uh, to better idea about the response, and uh, these are all here. So uh, all of the uh, mechanisms are here, and I put the, the the original slide here, not the PDF, because you need the animation to see how they react. So I put all my slides here. This is the first class, this is the second class, and this is the third class plus further reading for this class. That's all.